Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today, I appreciate you. In today's video, I wanna dive into an in-depth review. I wanna take a close-up look with you all at these new updated Apprentice carts from a company called Masu Inc. I will leave links for you in the description below so you can check these out on your end. Should you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm gonna highly encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I also have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel. I would truly appreciate the support over there as well please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. Should you enjoy my channel and find these videos helpful, consider becoming a patron or sending over a super thanks as we would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. For those who did see the first review on the first Apprentice cards, these are going to be an upgrade from those. So they are different from the first review that I did, which is why I wanted to bring you all another review. For those who haven't checked that one out, be sure to check out that review. These are going to be completely different. However, it's still going to be from the same brand. So let's take a close up look at them here. Right here, I'm looking at blue, black, green, and pink. So there are different colors now. And this is the packaging right here. And it is going to be the same packaging for all of them. We will be testing out the performance and all of that here in this video. And that is the packaging. And again, it's going to be the same throughout. The only thing that changes is the colors there. So opening up the packaging here, you can see we are greeted with the blue ballpoint pen cartridges. And this is what they look like right here. This is the other side. In this video, we are going to be testing out the performance. We are gonna be taking a close up look at all of that. So by the end of this video, you can know what to expect from these cartridges. So this is the blue one right here. We will check out the others close up as well. And here we have the Apprentice blue cart it is covered with a little stopper there so we'll just have to kind of peel that off before using and they all do come like that let me zoom in here so you can take a close-up look at this so it's it's a completely different design from the first one i will put the older one up right here so that way you can see what the older ones looked like and this is the upgraded one here are the old ones so allow me to open up the old one for you all. This is the first one, and then this is the second. Personally, they're both great. I haven't had any issues with either or. If I had to pick one or the other, I personally like this one. I do like how the car resembles the color, or reflects the color, rather. I like that a lot about it, and I just like the overall design on the new updated ones. However, the first ones weren't bad at all either. I do like the transparency there, but I'm more in favor of this one right here. And that is the blue one right there close up. So let's kind of repeat this process with the others so that we can get an idea as to what they actually look like. So that's the blue. Let's try the green out right here. So as you can see, every time we open them, we're greeted with a series of loud ballpoint pin cartridges here. These are really vibrant. Here are the pinks. And here are the blacks. So here we have the other colors and these are the four different colors that these are now offered in. Let's take a look here at the green one. Let me zoom it in for you all. And this is what the green cartridge looks like. Same design, just different color. This one here is the pink one. All the designs are identical for those who are wanting a side by side. Again, the only thing that changes is the color here. And the black right here. So very nice design. I like this design. Um, 
it's more intriguing to me than the first one. However, again, neither this one or the other one are bad. They're actually both really nice ballpoint pen cartridges. Now that we've taken a close up look at the cartridges themselves, what I want to do is I want to get into the performance side of these. I know that a lot of us are wanting to see how these actually perform. So I'm going to switch on over to a different angle so that way we can check out the performance. And for those who are wanting to know how to take off this end right here, how I'm just going to go about it is I'm going to use the blister pack that they came in and I'm just going to kind of just peel it off as best I can like so. It's kind of like a little wax ball. So it shouldn't be too, too hard to remove that. Just kind of peel it off. Some of them are easier than others, but you get the idea. Like so. I believe that's to prevent these from drying. I have done some work with the pink one already, and this is one design that I drew on the iPad, and I filled it in with the pink cartridge here and I will leave some snippets as well throughout this video for you all so you can kind of check out that and then I did this one right here as well with the pink so from my experience these are actually really good for practicing and they are really easy to set up all we need is a paper a machine and we're pretty much ready to go from there so those were a couple of that I've done I'm going to get a design here and we're just going to kind of test them out Here's another mandala design that I've done here and here is the ink claw tiny wireless tattoo pin and I'm going to be using that machine with these cartridges running at 5.5 volts and this is how it's running right here. Now I know that it looks like it's not hanging out that far however I could assure you the needle is hanging there I'm sorry the pen rather not needle so this is the cartridge in action here and again I'm running at 5.5 volts and I'm going to show you all some things that I like to practice so for me I like to practice dot work I'm going to be practicing some dot work and some shading here they do feel nice smooth and consistent where I'm going to begin is I'm going to begin by placing down dot work and then kind of just working from there and I'm going to be using this green color if I want to I can even do all of these lines should I choose to do so but for now I'm going to focus on dot work and shading I think the idea is just to simply practice and then from here I can begin layering however I see fit. So I'm just going to add a couple of tones of shading here in this area. Not only are these good for practice, these are actually good for creating artwork. I have to hold it down. So even this right here, I could I could already feel the practice. This is challenging me to stay steady and consistent. I'm working with something completely different from a needle. actually a cool color green kind of seems like more on the darker end to me let me know what you think in the comment section down below does this look like a lighter green to you or darker green hopefully the camera does justice for you all Here's a mandala design that I was previously working on. I'm going to use the new updated carts and these are the old carts here. So I'm going to try out the new ones and kind of compare and contrast here side by side.
and these cards could be used on essentially any design so like I have some texture right here on this lion I can simply start adding it to the best of my abilities I can get different tones I can do shading as well and it really does give me some insight on how I can move my hand and how I conduct myself to achieve different types of textured fur like results So you get the idea, I can definitely practice details and textures with the Apprentice cards as well. Let's check out the way the blue one performs. All of them seem to be smooth fitting, easy going. So you can kind of get the idea. I can practice my core elements and the core fundamentals that I use when it comes to tattooing. I can practice my line work. I can practice my dot work, my shading. On top of that, I can actually practice different tones. So it also helps me with shading placement. So those are some key reasons why I love these cartridges right here. Allow me to conclude the video and relay some of my final opinions and some insight on how I feel about the Moss U Ink Apentis Ballpoint Pin Cartridges. From me to you, I'm going to give these a 5 of 5 easily and for multiple reasons. Here's why. Off the top, I do love the fact that they are now in multiple colors. We get the black, blue, pink, and green. They are vibrant on paper. Although they're not really truly accurate to these cartridge colors, they are definitely in the ballpark. I'm still giving these a 5 of 5 for multiple reasons. Not only do they offer multiple colors, I'm also able to get that tattooing experience, which is then going to provide for my skill sets. So I'm able to actually learn using these. And to make it better, all I need is a piece of paper, my machine, and one of these cartridges so that way I can practice the technical side of tattooing. I can do my stipple shading, I can do my whip shading, I can practice my pendulum motions. Me personally, I also like to do dot work and I like to do lines with these as well as I've shown you all here in the demonstrations. Not only that, I do love how easy it is to kind of set up and get going and again that goes back to just needing a paper, our machine and then we are good to go from there. Me personally, 5 of 5 easily. Anyone who's looking to better their skill sets, I would highly recommend to check these out. I will leave links for you down below in the description. Anyone who is looking to do ballpoint 
pin art. I would recommend to check these out as well. And again, links will be for you as well in, in the description. Now, if I didn't touch base on anything specific or if you have any questions about something that you may have saw or heard throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I do have social medias under the same name as this YouTube channel. I would truly appreciate your support over there as well. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. Should you find my videos helpful and enjoy my channel, consider becoming a patron or sending over a super thanks as I would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, I appreciate your time. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great day.